Hello guys. Welcome back, welcome back. Did you miss us? Um I just left out of the house to go and pick up our mail by the mailbox because um I saw that something got delivered that BJ will be very excited for. You feel the box big? Yeah, so as you would have known, um, when we last left, left off, I finally went ahead and purchased BJ's cleats. And I also got him a pair of um, black football pants because we got white ones initially. And we learned really quickly why you don't practice in white football pants. Um, because within the same day of using it, it just happened to have rained the day before. And you can imagine how dirty those pants came back. And all the washing, the knees still have like the grass stains and whatever in them. So yeah, I went ahead and bought some black pads, which is what we should have done from the beginning. However, I also got his cleats. Yeah, I think he's really gonna like these. Um, yeah, look on how big that is, though. Jeez, um, look how the boy fit big, man. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sure he'll be excited um, to unbox this when I get back to the house. Other than that, um, I always love when we get like these little coupon things, especially for things that we use. So I see, like, normally we get these bath and body work stuff so 20% off free hand cream like we'll definitely be using this because almost everything that we use in the house scented other than maybe a laundry detergent even though they do have that too is bath and body works the lotion we use is bath and body works the shower gels that we use is bath and body works we use their hand soaps like in all the different bathrooms so yeah, this always works out for us. And then Brian always catches the online sales. Yeah, but other than that, it's just regular regular meal, just bills and all those other things that we don't want to see. And credit card offers too. I, I get quite a bit of those now since um, we've bought the house. Yeah, but anyways, we are gonna, well, I'm gonna head back to the house. Today is Sunday. You know, Sunday for us is really a chill day. Um, Brian had already prepped stuff for dinner from last night. Today we are going to be doing some oven jerk chicken and some rice and peas. I don't know what we're going to have on the side, but like veg vegetable wise. Oh my God. I, I have such difficulty bouncing between like pronouncing something the way an American would versus how I would in Jamaica. I find myself slipping into each side. Yeah. But don't know what we're going to do vegetable wise, but I'm excited for the jerk chicken. He did it last week sometime. Um, and he did like his jerk sauce and everything from scratch, the seasoning. And it tasted so good. Because the difference between here and Orlando is that it's so much easier to find real scotch bonnet pepper here. So, yeah. The jerk chicken, turn up, man. It tastes good. So I'm going to head back to the house because I do have some work that I have to do. Um, both for meet the Muslims as well as like work work so I'm gonna head back and get to it because more than half the day already done it's like two o'clock now yeah, it's depressing who hates Mondays give us a hand raise in the comments <laughs> anyways let me get back now turn on the light yeah so I'm about to give BJ his stuff and see him in his natural habitat car. BJ love living in the dark. As we're telling them how you live in darkness every day. It's, it's pretty bright in here. Pretty bright at 2 o'clock in the afternoon here. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Yeah. 
Those can work? Yeah. Look good? Oh, you're recording me still. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are you doing? Jerking some chicken. Mm. It's looking good. Thanks. I was supposed to make rice and peas and I realized I don't have scallion. So we're gonna have box mac and cheese. <laughs> Everybody's so creative. Everyone's so creative. <laughs> it's okay. It'll still be good. I'm pushing it back in the fire with a bit more time. Because mm, the big pieces of chicken, so I want to make sure it's done all the way through. Okay. You want to call BJ so you can make the mac and cheese? I was just going to say call him home. <laughs> Mass gang, I am leaving the health department. It is mm, what's today? It's Tuesday, and I got the paperwork finally. Um, damn, it don't work. Uh, yeah, so I'm on my way home. Enough work. Went to LaGuardia today. Came back. Um, went to the department. They were trying to get me to like bring BJ here so they can give him some shots he don't need no damn shots so thank god i didn't bring them because they ended up just giving me the, the immunization cheat so i got what i needed i'm gonna put it in an envelope and put it in his book bag and make sure he gives it to his teacher <sighs> i'm gonna let her know that i put it in there because bj will forget but i'm on my way home now i'm gonna call my mommy and talk to her all the way there bye Hey guys, so I am on my way to go back to UPS. Hold on. Because the football pants that I got for BJ, the first one was too small. Then the next one that I got was too big. So, now i have to try for the size in between um the only reason i even went two sizes up is because bj told me that the one that i had gotten him originally was like really really small so i figured that even going one size up may not have worked out for him but here we are I gotta go back and return this and then outside of that hold on yeah there we go outside of that you remember i told you that i had popped my string um for tennis well i bought a new racket and i thought that that would have been okay i played with it twice and i popped that string too so now i am here with two unstrung tennis rackets so i'm headed out to south fulton tennis center to try and see if i can get them restrung there um you know, I remember once upon a time, like I could probably go to Sports Authority or something of that sort and get them restrung. However, we don't have anything like that really close to us. So I'm trying to see if at the tennis court that they're able to do it too. They told me that they could and it's like $35 per one, which really and truly in the grand scheme of things is not bad at all. Because even when I was in Jamaica and from what I know of the prices there now to restring the rackets, it's probably around the same price or even a little bit more expensive yeah tennis was never a cheap sport and i am reminded of that currently however i do not want to um i do not want to fall out of it you know i think that i've gotten a good rhythm now and like i've been at it so i really want to keep it up so I brought my rackets so that I could go and get that done at the same time. So, yeah. Y'all following me? Let's go. Just made it. There's so many courts. And then the drive here is so pretty with like all the trees 
that I was seeing just now. Let me get these out. Oh, let me not break the roof. Yeah, so say this is the new one. And it was just a silly mistake that made it pop too. When I was playing, um, I hit the ball up here by accident. And of course, this is like the weakest part of the string. So, yep, it just snapped it. And then this is the old one that also needs to be restrung. So let's see how much it will actually run me because I actually don't have string to do it. So I'm probably gonna have to buy a string from their pro shop too. So that would probably make it a little bit more expensive, but it needs to be done. So let's see how long it's gonna take because I would love if I could get it back by Thursday. Today's Tuesday. So let's see. See, I was telling you there are so many courts. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's like tennis heaven for me. So that is actually amazing. It is only $25 a piece. <laughs> That's cheap. That's much better than what I would have gotten in Jamaica. And I don't think he was charging me extra for the string. That's kind of crazy, but hey, a win is a win. I'm not gonna complain about that at all. Um, right now, time for me to head to UPS to return this stuff to Amazon. going on mask game it's the next day i know i didn't vlog like i should have yesterday but aunt was tired man waking up at 2 30 and going to bed by 9 30 every day to do it all over again be wearing me out so i was gone i slept from like three to six and then when i tried to go to sleep at 9 30 i couldn't fall asleep so i'm sure today gonna be a vicious cycle but as you see, I'm in my pink. Something new that we rolling out for breast cancer month. I actually kind of like it. Maybe maybe I like the attention I'm getting, just to be honest. But it's cute. I like it. Well, I'm on my way to the gate, going back to the board here. So I guess I'll see y'all later. Hey, you guys. Well, no mask, girl. Ooh, look who's out with me today. Right, you dragged me out. Right? You didn't. I really didn't. I told him I was going to go. Then I caught an attitude. <laughs> He didn't invite me. <laughs> Brian was like, um, okay, you can go. Um, I said, you, what did you say after that? Yes, you didn't want me to go. Oh, yeah, I like, guess you didn't want me to go. I was like, no, I, didn't, I wasn't saying that. I just didn't think that he would want to go. So, but my bad, I should have asked. But yeah, he came out on the walk with me. That's it. Yeah, to get a little sweat in, which... I think is needed for both of us. And it's not too bad because it's like not too hot right now. Mm -hmm. Again, climbs, oh boy. <laughs> I knew that hill would have been um, tough for you. Yeah. Where it is, we have like two hills leading up to like where our mailbox and everything is. The car even struggles going up those hills. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's why you can see I'm sweating like that. But yeah, we just said. Let's go and get the mail at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. <sighs> Halfway through the week. Yeah. Do they know that you're leaving me? No, they do not know that I am leaving you. I mean, I guess they know now. Are you sad? I am. I'm pretty sad. I feel like you're going. I'm not going that long, baby. I'm not going that long. You know, I wish you were coming. That was the initial plan and hope. But, you know, it really just don't make sense for us at this point in time. Mm -hmm. So I just got to go and do what it is that I have to do. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be back to you. Don't miss me too bad. It's too long. <laughs> it's what, five days? Six. Six days? Yeah, so this is probably the longest that I would have left you for in a long time yeah in a long time yeah in a very long time anyways we'll talk more about this when we get back to the house good morning guys so it's the next day clearly <laughs> and you guys said you wanted to see rasta a little bit more so here he is i'm about to take him out to do his 
well, he, he, he goes twice a day. So this is once for the twice for the day. So let's bring him. There we go. So while he does his business, I'll chill out here on our little porch swing a little bit and update you guys because of course brian would have mentioned yesterday now that um i am gonna be leaving him for five or six days um yeah i just have some stuff that i need to get sorted out i am um, i mean many of you would have known that i recently got approved for my green card and I now need to renew my passport. So I do still have some months left on my passport. So I, I'm just gonna go to Jamaica one because we want to take a trip at some time before the end of this year. And I'm very afraid of the timeline because it says between four and eight weeks to get it. I've seen in the comments where some people have gotten through quicker. However, if we're looking at my luck going through the green card process and how long it actually took me to get that i just don't want to take any chances i would prefer to just go know that i can get it done and like do the same day process and then like come back and be fine um it also is around the same time as my father's birthday jamaro's birthday so It'd be an opportunity to be able to kind of get some kind of celebration in and some time with friends and family because all the trips that i've taken back home since i moved here have been for like three days if even some and three of those out of the three days two of those days are travel days so i really haven't had much time at home at all um so that's another big part of it too so five days should be enough for me to split my time between Kingston and Montego Bay. Um, it's still going to go by very quickly. I can tell you that, especially because one of those days is going to be entirely eaten up by the passport office. So we'll see how it goes. Um, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully I don't have any kind of problems. I'm a little bit fearful to be honest about like traveling on the green card for the first time but I know I shouldn't have any issues it's just that it's that anxiety from when I used to travel having just the K not the K1 visa but the travel permit um, I just didn't like that process at all so I'm hoping that I really do see like you know an improved level of efficiency traveling on the green card but yeah that's what's to come in the days coming up so you're probably gonna see me packing at some point i've been getting like amazon stuff because one there oh where's this fly coming from um one i've been picking out some stuff for like my nephew my godson who i've yet to meet yet so i'm bringing down a couple gifts and then of course for my family and close friends i also ask them if there's anything that they need brought down so that's what some of these things are yeah but when the stuff come for my nephew and my godson i'll just do a little not a haul but i'll show you guys what it is that i got and you let me know if you think i did a good job but rasta is done and is ready to go back inside so let me not keep him out here any longer what's going on man's gang as you can see, I'm in my handy dandy hat, doing my yard work, and of course, we got a plane above me. Alright, yeah, so it's fall officially, and the, um, the leaves are doing just that. They're falling, and they're all over the yard. And it's kind of weird because every house has the same tree, but it seems like our tree is the only one that's shedding the way it is. So I am off today, it's Friday. I have nothing to do. So I am outside raking these leaves and getting this yard right. So um, I guess I'll take y'all along the ride. We don't have much plan today. Like I picked up a higher credit turn yesterday so I can have today off. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll do some yard work and then we'll go get our hair cut 
I'll get my beard cut. And he'll get a haircut. Around two. And yeah, I guess I'll get ready for this weekend. So, I did that side over there, and then I did that side, which isn't that much. So now I'm about to put it up um, in one of these bags that I got from Lowe's. But I have two extra bags of the mulch that I um that we got from Lowe's the other day. So I'm thinking about just like mulching this part, like putting some new mulch all over this part, so it looks better and covers like the straight areas. So. I may just go ahead and do that as well. I mean, what else I got to do? All right, y'all. I had to go and put some um, chapstick on because these dips was a little white. I know y'all y'all saw y'all was gonna talk shit about it in the um, in the vlog in the comments. That's all right. That's why I went and fixed it. Um, <laughs> but I need to figure out a way to be able to blow this yard. But I'm afraid to blow it because I feel like if I do. I'm gonna blow all the mulch away. Like I have a blower, I just need to buy a cord for it, but I would hate to to have done all of this and then like I blow all this shit away. I'm be so upset. But these leaves are like outrageous. They keep falling, I guarantee you tomorrow. All of this that I have here is going to be back on the ground. I'm gonna put it up and then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be all over the floor again. So I don't know if y'all got any tips help a brother out for this yard work i like it but i don't like it all right mass gang so i have laid the two bags of mulch it was too much to try to help record or try to record while i did it so i'll show y'all you know a little bit of what i did it ain't too much because all i had to do was lay the mulch but see i didn't have a before picture but it was a lot of weeds coming up out of that and then over here I had to cover that, so that looks a lot better. It's amazing how fast weeds grow. Y'all see that little green thing? I had just pulled something out of there. Um, and then this over here. Yeah. So, got the mulch laid. Now I'm about to straighten up these trees that I said I was gonna do weeks ago. One of them I already straightened, but the other one I need to fix now. So, I guess I'm in my yard bag. All right, y'all. Straighten the tree. Ooh, it is. It's not even hot. I'm just fat. Ooh, but I am done in this yard. I straightened the tree. Y'all probably don't even know what it would look like before, but it was crooked AF. And then all I did for this was drive the stake into the um, the soil part, and it straightened it, so I didn't even have to tie it. And it's been like this for a couple weeks now, so I think I'm good. I'm about to go take a shower and lay across this couch because Ankh is hot. Whew. All right. All right, Mass Gang. I am officially showered. Alec is on a business call right now. He's on a. He's at work. So I'm going to lay in the bed and watch some TV. My beard is still wet until he's done and then after he's done then we can go get our hair done i guess so i will see y'all in a bit i'm about to relax i'm tired hello guys um yeah i have so much more going on than i'm probably even saying right now but we'll talk about that at another time um right now i'm getting ready to go and take my passport photos so before i do that of course i have to get a haircut that's the first thing um but yeah i have to take passport photos see if there's any last minute things that i need to pick up like for my mother to bring back um go back to pick up the passport photos come back unbox some of these amazon things that i'm packing because i'm not going down with a big bag so the boxes and all of that is gonna take up way too much space and then i also have to pack today is friday the flight is like five o'clock in the morning time is like 
literally zooming by. And then when I come back, I have to check to make sure that I have everything on my checklist to actually go to the passport office, which I'm hoping to do on Monday. So yeah, quite a bit happening and not a whole lot of time to do it. There is Brian. Are you ready? I have no lotion, but then yeah. Oh yeah, okay, I need to put on lotion too. But yeah, we are about to head out. It is 1.33, our appointment is at two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we, we have enough time to get there. But yeah, as I said, a lot of things to do and very little time to do it. So, yeah, you ready? Let's do it. You're gonna miss me? I am. Are you sure? I am. <laughs> Guys, damn. So, just got my hair cut. Brian is in the chair now uh, because he's only doing his beard, so it's not gonna take that long. It's now <laughs> three thirty-seven. Uh, yeah, much later than we anticipated. And then, I don't know. It can it can't just be me. Like I don't feel like I am too much of a fussy person you know but this line just is not this line just ain't it <laughs> this line is just not it i don't have to go and take um a passport size photo that gonna be in my passport for the next 10 years Ugh. what to do what to do huh can't do nothing can't do nothing about it. What's done is done. So I am headed to Walgreens right now to see if while Brian is getting his beard cut that I can go and take this picture. Ah, sigh. All right, let me, let me stop now and just go and do this. I don't even want to show no bombard. Ciao. Hello guys. Hello. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you wanted to look at the pictures. No, but, um... Oh, it's the drink you want. Mm -hmm. My bad. <laughs> so, you know, just talk and say <laughs> what you want in the original sense. My lip is cut. Oh. It hurts inside because he's... Who? Oh, the lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Brian, Barba, best friend. You not so happy with him today? I mean, he fucked you up. But thanks. <laughs> oh, strong! I love it. But he, um, my beard doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. But I, one thing that I don't like is when I tell you something, and this isn't me. This is on your behalf. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you something, and then it's just like, oh well, I was gonna do it that way anyway. But I was doing you a favor. No, excuse me. But like don't do that you know what i mean and the thing is is that i was being nice even when i said it because if you notice this side is higher than this side is this side is not naturally this high you can see where the skin is lighter here because i tan very easily so you can tell that here was right here i can go like this and rub against it and you hear the friction mm -hmm. it's because here was cut from right here for whatever reason, whenever he's lining me up, he cuts this side first, then he comes and cuts this side and then comes back and is like further going up. So I was just asking him, can you just bring up this side more? Yes, bring in my hairline back, but bring up this side more so at least it look even. Now I feel like I have to like give you a little side look like this to have the hairline be even. Yeah. I don't want so Alec on that side where he put up has like a co coca. Yeah, coca. well, we call it a coca. We don't know what you guys call it. It's a knot. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I fractured my skull right here, so I have like a permanent bump. So the hair doesn't grow the same right here as it does everywhere else, which I tell every barber mm -hmm. before or when I, I would have gone to them for the first time. So I'm aware that the hair, hair grows a little bit funny and it grows a little thinner. It don't mean you should cut it out. 
You know? I don't know what he was doing because I, I feel like maybe this this is the like the most extreme I've seen him cut it this way. It, to me, this is how it did look the first time it did happen to him. Mm. And the first time is just that I didn't really speak up to say, can you do whatever to make it not look as bad? So I think that's probably why it even did look worse because he had to bring up my my forehead is not as big <laughs> naturally. <laughs> At yeah. this point, I should have asked him to like, just give me a little, a little line. like a little line or something, so that this did look intentional. Yeah. And I was just saying, just my look. When may I take the passport picture for dealing with passport for ten <laughs> years? <laughs> yeah. So much so that when I go, I have to take the passport picture. She keep telling me that my head is lean. I'm like, it's not my head; it's the hairline. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope the pictures can work. You look so angry. Because I was. <laughs> no, but I know in, in Jamaica you're not supposed to like smile in the passport photos or whatever. So, um, yeah. Yeah. But as I said, just my luck. When he was edging my, like this part, he cut in my crease. Mm hmm. So it's like burning. Which is a, a that's a common mistake. Like, that's not to the cut right here in the middle? Like, yeah. right here. It's, it's happened to me. Like, every mm. one of my barbers have done it. Mm. It's like they get, I don't know what happens, but they try to get too close mm -hmm. in, I guess. They because, make it. Yeah. yeah, I guess because you keep the hair here, whereas I never keep the hair right here. So, so. but other than that, <laughs> I mean, after a four minute rant, <laughs> other than that, I'm actually pretty happy with the rest of the haircut, but quite honestly like between the time and then not being able to get this right I've been there four times now and I feel like I've only gotten it cut right once and it was after I had gone to another barber who kind of fixed the issue already the same barbershop where they messed me up yeah when, but I felt like how you felt today because when I was looking at you I was like I wanted to be like am I crazy <laughs> or <laughs> Yeah. Because he was telling me one thing and then he switched what he was saying and then put it on me. Mm. So I was just like, mm. yeah. didn't want to be like, especially not while somebody's still playing around in my head. So I, Brian was messaging me at the same time. I just turned over the phone and I was just like, let me get out of this chair before um, anything else worse happened. Yeah. Yeah. But, anyways, we are, I guess, on our way home. Yeah, went to go to public to get a box of chicken. Oh, um, you're hungry now? I'm not hungry. I just know. Oh, yes. for later. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want us to go and go pick up my tennis rackets, we could do that. Where's that? South Fulton Tennis Center. I'll put it in. Okay. But anyways, we're going to pick up this stuff and then get situated. You'll see me in the rest of the vlog from one side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. So... In a minute, I'm gonna probably start with my packing because one, I have to make sure that I have all my documents to renew my passport, birth certificate down, passport pictures, which I'm not gonna show you because I'm not happy with them, <laughs> down, um, green card, passport. So that is fine. My flight is at 5.36 this morning, I believe. And I'm connecting in Fort Lauderdale and then going to Jamaica. Um, yeah, I'm so tired already. And I know I'm probably not even going to bother to sleep. Because if I have to get to the airport from like three something, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense at all. But yeah, right now, I just have to go through all the stuff that I got. Let me pick them up so I can... I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got. Oh, this is not mine. So, you know, I would have, the last time I was trying to go to Jamaica, it was for my godson's christening, who unfortunately I missed, but this time around, I'm gonna get to meet him for the first time. So, big up baby Eli, but I got him a little ball here. So it's like an animal crawl ball. Um, he isn't a year yet, so I figured that he'd be able to kick this around. It's supposed to encourage them to crawl as well, just because um, it makes like 30 different sounds and songs. So it's supposed to attract the baby to like want to go after it. So this is my little gift 
to him going down. I have some stuff for my brother that he ordered. I didn't buy it for him. But my brother is a big man now. I think he's turning 24 this year, which is crazy. Like in my eyes, I always see him as my little brother um, because we do have like a couple years gap in between us. But yeah, all of 24, so I don't need to buy things for him anymore, take care of him. He covers that all on his own. My sister, as you have known, my nephew Judah, um, he is turning two this year, which is crazy to believe. But his father is an artist, so um, that runs in his blood. To be quite honest, my sister, even though she's in the field of sciences she's also very artistic and always had a whole lot of talent when it came to like arts and crafts and drawing and stuff like that but she wants to get him into finger painting so i did get this which is i think like the most popular finger paint that you can get non-toxic shouldn't be an issue but then i also got this which is like a writing board so it's no mess um i think it's pressurized that the you know the different colors and the lighting will come up the writing not lighting so i'm hoping that they like this as well and that he likes it i don't know if it's gonna be like too difficult for him to use at two but i feel like he is like very advanced for his age anyway so hopefully this works out and even if it doesn't then they just have to wait a couple months um before he can use it other than that it's like a whole lot of snack stuff for my mom so she is obsessed i mean i tell you obsessed like i'm very obsessed with pistachios so i got her one bag of that which is like this got her that these are also hers so i get my snacking nature from my mother <laughs> so thank you for that uh, but yeah other than that um there's like a couple other stuff for her that i just have to shove into this bag i'm trying to travel light um so i'm gonna have a check bag going down but coming back up i only want to have a carry-on no extra yeah so it shouldn't be too hard to pack like I know what I'm going to carry. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot there in terms of like going out. So I don't need no bag of outfits and all of that. So it shouldn't be too, too hard. To be honest, the thing that's like going to be at me most of the time is just making sure that I have all the important documents I need. Once I have that, my credit cards or bank cards and my relevant IDs, to be honest, I could care less about anything else because I'm one of those people when I'm going to the airport up to the time I'm coming out of the car, I'm there like, do I have everything? Yeah, so I'm just ready for tomorrow to come, for me to get on this plane, do what I need to do and come back home. Yeah, because I think, you know, like now being in a new house and everything, it's like you get so used to and well like i'm still getting used to the space and i'm very very happy being home like i really really enjoy being in this house so i am know i'm gonna enjoy my time in jamaica don't get me wrong and i'm gonna make the most of it but i'm really looking forward to coming back especially because brian really was supposed to come this trip and it just didn't work out like we're in the middle of a school school term and then we're supposed to have somebody come in this weekend and it's just like too many different factors you know so unfortunately he won't be there this time and i know that he's been missing jamaica too like he's mentioned it so many times this year so it really is unfortunate but you know i just gotta go and represent for the two of us so if you do see me around please feel free to stop tell me hi you know and I will pass on the greetings to Brian as well. Anyhow, I am gonna print off these forms here now and then probably start on the packing. Um, actually, 
Yeah, well, I'm going to start on the pack in, but Brian left just now because he's trying to guilt me that I'm not going to be here this weekend. So he said that I needed to bake comfort food for him. So he went to go and get ice cream and he's like, you know, ice cream goes so well with warm brownies. So, you know, since you're leaving me, that's his last favor. So you see how him don't feel sorry for me? He knows I'm tired. He knows I'm leaving and I have so much to do and he's still giving me work. <laughs> but I guess it's the least I can do for going on a um, six day vacation, right? Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go do what I need to do because clearly there is a long night ahead. Okay, so I think I've taken out just about all the clothes that I need. So I just a while ago, just like portioned out, you know, things into travel size containers. So I have my lotion. This is just a little bit of this Cantu coconut curling cream. Even though I don't have curls, I find that when I use a little bit of this and have a do-rag on, it gives me a little bit of waves. My hair is not that easy to wave, but it does help. Just a little bit of mouthwash. This is my shampoo. Yeah, I think so. Shampoo. I had conditioner somewhere. Oh, here we go. And then this is my conditioner. Oh, and then I have a little tiny thing of like face cream. So I use, all it is that I really use is uh, advanced firming and anti-wrinkle day cream because of course you know as the years of wisdom are coming up it's starting to show on the face so just my little preventative measure um yeah and then of course you know the works the regular like toothpaste and whatever yeah so i am just about done with everything is just to throw these clothes in the bag and the other stuff in the bag that I'm checking. And then I think I'm ready. I only have a couple hours to go, maybe like three hours before, three and a half hours before we have to leave. So not a whole lot of time. We are pretty much there now. <sighs> So let's go and pack guys. Somebody come and help me please because I would like to take a little nap. So I am all packed and ready to go with some time to spare. Let me check and see how Hubby is holding up. Knowing that you only have how much hours left? Three. Three hours? You seem fine. I've just come to the realization that you're leaving me to go turn up and you have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> you know that is not what the purpose of this trip is. That's what you say. Don't do that. Don't bother with that. I'll be back before you know it. I know. You get to have um, the peace and quiet that you've been peace and quiet. ever so craving yes. for the longest. My mother is coming this weekend. <laughs> Where's the peace and quiet? Mm. She's not bad. She's not bad at all. She yeah, wants a business. Bestie. Well, 
Should I have BJ? I guess I can go in my room and lock the door and just relax. Mm -hmm. I know you have your TV in there, so now you can watch TV. It's, it's a long time. Yeah. It's it a long is. time. So. It will run off though, baby. Sure it will. Yeah, well, I mean, I hope you guys please check in on him. Make sure he is okay on my behalf. <laughs> <laughs> and keep him company. Don't miss me too much. All right, guys. Well, we are going to cut things off here. Um, so I guess we will see you next week. Bye. Bye. Oh, wait. Jeez, um, we're not even doing what we normally do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> please comment down below. Um, yeah. As I said, give some encouraging words to Brian. Let him know that he'll be okay. I'll be fine, guys. I'm just being extra right now. <laughs> Please share the video with somebody who you know wants a little bit more love in their life. And if you haven't done it already, do what? Subscribe. All right, guys. Gone for real now. Bye.